I was always wanted to be an engineer. My dad was a mechanical engineer from Purdue. He was a three letterman at football, a three letterman in basketball, and had a letter in track. He was a beta, and his pledge son was Johnny Wooden. And they thought the world of Johnny. He insisted I go to Purdue. I spent a lot of time here. I remember in machine design, you had to mold your own product in the foundry, and you had to uh, design a piece of machinery and then build it. You had to build it in the, in the foundry. You got a taste of doing it yourself, kind of thing. And I decided I didn't want to work in a foundry. <laughs> we always came for football games. And when we were dating, I remember we used yeah. to come with his brother and sister-in-law who were Purdue grads, and we would go to the ball games yeah. and have a great time. I was in Navy ROTC. I eventually did three and a half years in the Navy. I got my orders to the Great Sitkin, which is a, uh, uh, an ammunition ship as chief engineer. I had 62 people in my department, five subordinates, and uh, we had a ship 470 feet long that carried 10,000 tons of ammunition plus atomic weapons. So big responsibility. I knew before I went to the ship it was in trouble. It had broken down three times in, with the Sixth Fleet in the Mediterranean. Almost every single backup system was out of service and there were no parts on board to repair them. I got everything back in service. Not in great shape, but enough to get back to the States where we could get help and get it worked wrong. But it was a great experience. For a mechanical engineer, how could you have anything better? The fundamentals here in electrical and mechanical uh, helped me a lot. I knew the fundamentals of, you know, how to put things together and how to test them and how, what, to, what to expect and that kind of thing. So, yeah, it was an excellent background. Couldn't have been any better, I don't think. Then I had to start over on interviewing. I had to find something in the Midwest somewhere. And I, Purdue helped me there because they always have inquiries for engineers. One was with AT&T in Indianapolis. So I had another new one to learn, and it was good. It was good for me. I ended up with the operating vice president job of the five-state area. I had a great career. I had great bosses. I had great opportunities. Spent uh, 37 years with them. I've always said I wanted to give something back to Purdue. I wanted to do something that uh, would encourage and improve uh, mechanical engineering. This building is where I spent 80% of my time. I mean, when I was here on campus, when I heard about the renovation here, we just went in that door, and the uh, first one they pointed out was that lecture room. I thought, boy, that's, that's right, right down the line of what I would like to do. This room is really the first place that a lot of students experience mechanical engineering. This is where they'll take thermal, this is where they'll take statics, this is where they'll take you know, their dynamics course, this is where they'll take senior design. Our curriculum is challenging, um, and the vast majority of our students succeed, and they, they'll never forget the time they spent in this space. For them to name this room and to support its renovation is a, is a huge deal. There were several things that I felt had a, a positive effect on my career. And uh, this was one of them. You've got to keep the quality up. And what determines the quality is the people who hire the people from here. Where do you hire engineers from and what's your first choice, second choice, third choice? I want Purdue to stay atop, keep it that way.